The turbulent 2017 will soon be over. So let's take a look at what's happened in 2017. I mean, let's check on if what we said would happen, happened. And then we will see what may be in store for us in 2018. Of course, as always, I will not only make the predictions, but I will show you why I make these predictions. The first prediction on 2017's list was about the Korean conflicts. We thought Nostradamus warned us on these Korean conflicts in Century 2 Quatrain 17. It started by mentioning the Vestal Virgin, which I believe was an indication of place and time. It is South Korea's single lady president, who was impeached in 2017 and is now in jail. And the Great Tube is the mention of a nuclear weapon. Although tensions have escalated and nuclear missiles have flown like firecrackers in 2017, we were fortunate enough to be spared from any major conflict. But when a North Korean defector ran through the DMZ, he was chased by a North Korean soldier who did cross the line into South Korea. Then Korea was mentioned again in Century 1 Quatrain 78. The first line mentioned an old leader with a idiot son. It mentioned the battlefield divided, conceded to soldiers. This prophecy can be considered fulfilled if you look at it with Quatrain 81, when the strange name of K, T-H, L, was mentioned and called dead, banished, and scattered. I don't think anyone can doubt that this is about North Korea as not only North Korea's nine provinces are called set apart from human flock, it talked about faded, divided, and doesn't K, T, H, L sound like Kim Jong-un? I said North Korea's soldiers would rebel against Kim Jong-un as Quatrain 178's fourth line clearly stated, battlefield divided, conceded to soldiers, seemed to indicate a coup. However, other than the very public run from one North Korean soldier, we've had no news of any coup. But not hearing the news does not mean nothing happened. A report on 11-20-2017 about Kim Jong-un's disciplining leaders of his most powerful military organization can be a response to some unsuccessful rebellion. On August 15, 2017, an earthquake measuring 2.6 on the Richter scale was detected at North Korea's nuclear test site. News first suspected it to be related to another nuclear test, but was then called a natural occurrence. Hmm. I questioned that assumption then. I thought it could be the result of some North Korean blowing up of a nuclear stockpile to avoid a nuclear war. Of course, no one believed me, but another article a few weeks later said it could be the collapsing of the underground nuclear storage facility. What really happened, we may never know. But North Korea has stopped nuclear testing since that incident. If you ask me, it is more likely than not that something did happen. Was it a coup? According to Nostradamus, probably. Then Nostradamus made some bold predictions for President Trump, Turkey, and Egypt. In Quatrain 140, it states by calling Trumpet concealing madness, and about that causing Turkey to change its laws. How did these two seemingly unrelated statements connect? I thought Turkey may start martial law, but that did not happen. But Turkey did change its constitution in January 2017, which allowed its current president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, to remain in power until 2029. Martial law and war law changes may come in 2018, 
as now President Recep is actually a de facto king. Although Nostradamus was the one who made these predictions, we were the ones who picked these quatrains out for 2017. The third and fourth lines are about Egypt. It states, From Egypt there will go forth a man who wants the edict withdrawn, changing money and standards. Late in 2016, Egypt decided to depreciate its currency by 50%. So that happened, and now with the horrible attack in North Sinai, it is very likely that more changes may happen soon. One thing we had been bragging about was our unique Nostradamus decoding. Instead of finding one line out of one quatrain, we try to find meanings for all four lines and check if we can find related information with a quatrain we found. After finding quatrain 140 about President Trump, we found quatrain 139, which mentioned the blonde heir elect. It called the empire enslaved and three men substituted. There are still lines we could not understand in that quatrain, but we know we had more than three men close to the power center substituted. Now, let's take a quick look at my top 10 2017 predictions. Number one, Turkey attacks, which will lead to martial law. As I pointed out, the attacks did lead to a new law, but it is a new constitution instead of martial law. Number two, I predicted Turkey to be involved in regional conflicts. I'm not sure if Turkey's involvement with the Syrian war intensified but I think a war with its Kurdish people may happen in 2018. But even if not, Turkey is already involved in international controversy when they paid millions to Mike Flynn. Number three, in my other Nostradamus video, I mentioned the possibility of Kim Jong-un's sister stepping up to a succession role. A few months later, news reports showed that she was now in the spotlight as the next great leader. But that may just be a lucky hit. I think Kim Jong-un may halt nuclear test, and there may be talks on easing sanctions on North Korea. There may be more missile tests by North Korea, but there will be more failure than success, even causing a symbolic jet strike by the United States. Four, there was no conflict between Taiwan and China. Sorry, I missed on that call. 5. The Middle East conflicts stayed high, but ISIS is losing some of its stronghold, so not a bad thing. 6. ISIS did intensify terror activities big time. 7. We had many and stronger earthquakes, so that was right on. 8. Inflation on the run. Inflation did happen, <laughs> but I wouldn't call it a big run, at least not a 100 meter dash. 9. Racial conflicts in the USA. This not only happened, but happened in ways we never thought possible. Conflicts are no longer between blacks and police. Now we have all kinds of racial tensions. 10. The last one we predicted was unexplained weather changes. Unfortunately, it happened when we had hurricane after hurricane. So here comes the predictions for 2018. Number one, President Trump will step down in August 2018. I found this dire warning from Nostradamus in Century 8, Quatrain 65. I think it is August because that is 20 months after President Trump moved into the White House. But it could also be April if you count from the election day. However, it is clearly stated that he would be replaced by someone worse. Quote, the old man disappointed in his main hope will attain to the leadership of his empire. Twenty months he will hold rule with great force. A tyrant, cruel, giving way to one worse. Number two, a redemptive strike. I think there may be a strike in late spring or mid-summer. The target 
very likely will be North Korea, but it will be more symbolic. Number three, cyber warfare. At the same time when the USA learns the extent of the information breach, new attacks will start. Government agencies at different levels will be affected. Four, government shutdown. Major conflicts between the two political parties lead to a government shutdown. Republican party on verge of breaking into two parts. Five, conflict from within. There will be more fights from within than with neighboring countries. That will happen in Asia, Europe, Middle East, America, and Africa. Six, new knowledge will lead us to new technologies. Seven, proof found on alien life. Eight, more earthquakes and strange weather phenomena. Nine, coup attempts in Saudi. Number 10, many National Guards called for United States domestic duties. A year from now, we will see how accurate these predictions were. This is Ken Peters. Thank you for watching.